Gocator Emulator is a virtual 3D smart sensor that runs the full inspection software embedded in every Gocator over any web browser. The emulator provides you with the same user interface and inspection capabilities that run on a real Gocator, so you can explore the smart features and tools or conduct sample testing to develop your own algorithms, all without having a physical sensor. All you need is a desktop or laptop PC and an internet connection. Each emulator scenario contains previously recorded 3D height map data, 2D intensity data, and pre-configured measurements. Now let's explore the basics on how to use Gocator Emulator. First, launch your emulator. You can do this either online or by downloading emulator onto your desktop. You also have the option of sending us a part that our application engineers can then use to create a custom emulator scenario for you to use in sample testing. Emulator is available in two sensor types, laser profilers, where a 3D scan was built by moving a particular part and collecting profiles to build the surface, and snapshot sensors, where a 3D image was generated by simply scanning a stationary part. After picking a pre-recorded dataset, we call this a scenario, the Gocator interface will open. You will see six large icons located at the top of your browser window. Manage, Scan, Model, Measure, Output, and Dashboard. Each icon represents a key step in setting up your application. Selecting an icon loads a page dedicated to that step. The measurement page is selected by default when your scenario starts. The pre-recorded 3D data from the sample scan will appear. With the real sensor, you would use the scan page to set up and acquire a 3D scan of your part. Within the 3D visualizer, use the scroll wheel on your mouse or laptop trackpad to zoom in and out. You can also click on the 3D view toolbar, select the magnifying glass to zoom in, or click on the hand button to grab and pan. The 3D button allows you to navigate around the scan object in 3D space. Click the orbit button and then click and hold to rotate the object. Click the 3D button again to return to the 2D top view of the target. On the right hand side is the tools configuration panel where measurement tools are selected. Click a measurement tool you would like to try, for example, surface dimension, then click add. A yellow bounding box will appear in the 3D view. This is the region of interest for the surface dimension tool. Click on the yellow corners of the bounding box to resize the position. With your region of interest defined, the tool will generate a measurement value of the height, width, and length of the specific ROI you've selected. Notice the pass-fail indicators attached to your measurement value. Green indicates pass and red indicates fail. Use the step backward and step forward buttons to move through the different scan frames. This is how you move through a recorded dataset. Each scan has different measurement tools for you to try. Your manage page contains settings for sensor system layout networks, motion, alignment, jobs, and maintenance. The scan page contains settings for trigger source, exposure, active area, filtering, and alignment. The model page lets you set up part matching and sectioning. Sectioning is used to define a cross-section or profile for a 3D surface. For example, here the yellow line represents a cross-section. In the measure page, you can then select profile tools to apply measurements to the specified cross-section. When you finish setting up your measurements, you use the output page to send pass-fail results over discrete I.O. or network devices. The output page contains settings for configuring output protocols used to communicate results to devices like PLCs or robots. Finally, the dashboard page provides monitoring of measurements, statistics, and sensor health. And there you have it, a quick introduction to using Gocator Emulator. Visit our virtual 3D Smart Sensor page today to launch your first emulator scenario.